Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Rolling Clip Bonsai for Seniors. This is round two of Happy Autumn. We're doing our Mingarelia. Uh, what I'm going to do is I took it out of the pot so you can see exactly how the roots were when I first planted it. And you can see there's not much there, just that much. But I'm going to put some Azus and Miklas right on it. But also, I didn't like the the mix that much because it, it was nice and fluffy, but it wasn't really draining fast. Plus, the pot, its holes were not that, I mean, a big pot. You get these small holes. I had to drill those two big holes to get me better drainage. I'm not going to use sphagnum moss on the bottom because I want this this tree to this soil to drain for it. I mean, it's got a nice root structure. So let's put it on the side so it doesn't fall. Well, first, ah, not organized, everybody. <laughs> okay, let's put it in here so it doesn't fall down, and put it on the side. So the soil, don't be afraid if you if you goof up, do it again. There's nothing, it ain't going to hurt. And you just don't like something, you do it again. Maybe that's why it, uh, the video goofed up because it says, hey, Tom, you didn't do it right. <laughs> so we got we to gotta do it again. So uh, I'm going to use one part worm castings, one part peat moss, four parts pine bark, plus a cup of coarse sand. And also a tablespoon of Mikus and uh, Azus, beneficial bacteria. Now uh, the soil on here was still wet, so I mixed it up in a bucket anyway. Uh, our Aurelias can grow in low light. They can even grow in a north window. Uh, 60 degrees and below, bring your plant in from the outside. Otherwise, it's going to suffer immensely. Uh, you need a good watering, and after the after you water it real good, let the water run out, then let it dry. Not completely, but at least enough so that the roots get more aeration, and then water it again. Because if you let it completely dry, sometimes it, it uh, takes off and sometimes it doesn't. So, we're going to all learn together because this is my first time with a, an Aurelia. Now, I got my screens. I got these screens. They're, uh, I got them a long time ago, so I figure I might as well use them up. Put them in these big holes on top. And before I put anything inside, let's put my tree over here. Because the pot has a, a bad inside. I think maybe that's why some of the trees die in these pots for people because they don't make the drainage right. So I'm going to take just some uh, sifted perlite and stick it around the corners of the pot because the pot is like uh, a v-shape into the corner so that's where the water is going to stand. So this will help keep the roots a little bit drier from it and I'll put some over the holes to help for the drainage because this pot instead of being flat on the bottom it's like a bubble in the top I'll show you as soon as I get the the mixture in so instead of the pot going this way the pot is like this and it comes up and then in the corner, in the crease, it's like a V in there. So that's all a potential hole in water. So, you know what? I'm glad the video goofed up because now I can show you what I'm going to do to repot it. So now we're going to take our free draining mix. Now it's a little wet. So let me see if I can mix it a little bit. A little bit more. So we'll just, just mix your soil. Don't be afraid to shake it. I also used a little shovel to mix it up with. Now that we got it good and settled. 
and you can see how it looks and you can see how nice the sm and small the pine bark nuggets are so we're going to start putting it in Let's put it in and I'll take my bigger cup that'll help get it out shovel's good for mixing okay so let's spread it out pat it down and then I'm going to keep it in the basement because the temperature right now is 57 degrees or 14 degrees Celsius on our first day of autumn September 22nd of 2021 so and then let's see where I put my spray bottle I'm just going to give the top a little bit of watering just to get some of that surface tension out even though it's wet I just want to get it in and then let's take our tree I'll be very careful so as not to take all the soil off the root ball there we go you can see the, the real fine roots on it and it's we'll have to pick a side again can we have it this way or should we have it in a pot this way maybe this way so let's hold it up I'll use my knife to hold it up and what I'll do is I'm going to take some azus and sprinkle it on the roots and you can see with the knife my potting knife that it's uh, even with the pot so that's good so we're going to take some uh, azus a nice tablespoonful and I'm just going to hold it up and just put it all over the roots and all on the inside there and then let's close up our bag so that we can uh, keep it from getting contaminated I'm going to take my mikus I already got the mikus mixed in the soil but I want to get this root ball intact with it and remember it's it's not a fertilizer it's beneficial bacteria and I'll put that all around the root ball there there we go put that in let it hold it up okay now let me see if I can put a little closer for you you can see the uh, beneficial bacteria all on the bottom so it makes good contact with the root ball get some of them clumps out of there now how do we have our we're gonna have this is our front so what I'm gonna do is have the knife here to hold it up so we can get some soil into there now you notice there's hardly any roots by it it's just a cutting that they stuck a stump so hopefully this will all work out for the best and get it to root so see when something doesn't work out there's usually there's usually a reason for it and the reason is I didn't like the holes in the pot and I didn't like the soil which I should have put more uh, I should have put more sand in I mean when I first did it I should have put sand in because we want it likes a nice draining soil but moist and if it lightly dries out then you gotta when it lightly dries and you gotta water it so you just got to do the best you can with you, with what you got so and always check your pots if the holes are s small 
get if you don't have a drill, get somebody to redrill it. I use a now this is a clay pot, but I use a diamond drill bit on it. There we go. Something like that. That's our fronts like this. So that'll look pretty good, hopefully. Now we'll get our shovel. And let's get some more soil in there. Now this soil is alive because in the first video I also put a lot of Mikus and Azus a tablespoon around the root ball. So now we got enough in there to keep this tree alive. And it likes an acid-based soil of about 6 to 6.5 pH and well draining from what the research I did on Aurelia's. So, and then for pruning, they say it's always good in the, in the late fall when it gets cool outside and repotting in the spring, but we got, we got to take our chances because in the, in the, in the container it came and you can see that it's, the pot's pretty well like that and it's got some uh, bottom in there for it to drain. But why leave it over the winter time like this when we can just put it in and repot it? So there we go. Let's press it in. Get our skewer and work some of the soil into the root ball. That's no good. Now, when I took this out, the soil was just peat and uh, bark. So that's what I try to simulate. I got the sand in there. So help it drain a little more. Okay, let's throw a little more on the top. And I like this mixture with the pine bark because it'll help it have a nice acid soil. And not only that, it gives it like a forest floor look if you really think about it. Try that. Let's get it in. Now, if your soil is dry, try to spritz it with a spray bottle. There we go. Because I don't want this to rot, even though they had it that deep for it to root. So, with your spray bottle, just take the surface tension off. Just water it in. Hey, we all make mistakes, we're human. But you live and you learn. And if you didn't make a mistake, you ain't gonna learn. There you go. Just like that. And we'll get a little bit more over here. Our shovel. Just putting it in. Just take your time filling all the gaps. Now I have this feather rock. I can put it here just for a little bit of an accent. And with, to get around the feather rock, I'm going to need my spoon. And just put it in so the rock looks buried. So I, now this pot is heavy. But the feather rock is super light. I think the spoon weighs more than the feather rock. I mean, that's how light it is. But there we go. Hopefully, hopefully this video will upload <laughs> because it's saying, Tom, we're not uploading because we didn't like the way you did it. So, okay. We'll do it again. And you don't want to be, I don't want to be perfect and say, oh, look what I did. And then have to redo it because I didn't like it in the first place. So if I make a mistake, I make a mistake. I live by it. I learn by it. There we go. 
I mean, that's all you can really do. Trial and error. And you'll be all right. There, nice. A little feather rock there. Just as a corner piece. Now you're going to say, Tom, it's a little wobbly. Well, it's a little bit, not that much. It's pretty solid under right now. But it's not going outside because of the cold. So you got to remember that. I'm not going to leave it outside because right now it's getting cold out. And this was more tropical, so we have to make sure it, it lives. So, let's take the surface tension out. Take our, our rock, wipe it down, wipe down our pot, spray it. Remember, get yourself a turntable. Look how easy it is to do it. If you get it get one that's real hard to turn put some WD-40 in, in between the bearings over there and it'll loosen up just fine so now we're gonna take our bottle and you can see how nice it, it washes right in into the soil see that and we got better drainage holes and I really didn't I don't know why they make a big pot and put such tiny little holes in there. I think that's why a lot of bonsai trees fail. There's no, mainly the drainage. When you water it, nothing will come out. So there we go. You got a nice forest floor look. And what's this? See, that's our stones from our, uh, our gravel. Our sand, I mean. So all we'll do is tap it in, push our soil in real good. Well, we gotta take this rock out because it's we gotta get the soil in below the lip of the pot. There we go. And now we can just put it in there. And I think just like that should be good. Just for now. And then we have to dress it up. So first, I have to put a little bit more around this rock because you want it to look like it's inside the soil, not just sitting on top. There we go. Just like that. I mean, it's a little off to the side, but we want this tree to grow and we can worry about decorating it later. Put it on the top. Looks like it's just popping out. There we go. Something different. Put a little more water on the top. And there. Now we have it. Take our paper towel and wipe our pot off. I think it looks good from both sides as a front but we'll find out once it starts growing and then we can always pick the front later on. They said you can plant it annually but they like they say that also that when the tree becomes a little bit pot bound it grows a little better. So I don't have a small uh, pot that I can, can put it in. That's just a little bit bigger. We'll have to try one for the Fabian. Let's see if I can find something. But there you go. There it is. There's our front. Now, I have a little from Hobby Lobby, the little truck. We can put that and decorate it for hollow for uh, the fall. I can put it over here. Little truck driving around. And then from Hobby Lobby, I got my little squirrels. And we'll put our little squirrels in. We got one. Because what's a tree without a squirrel? Making its home. Then we got another one like this. Have them going around their tree gathering nuts. And there we go. Now we have it. So, 
Hope this video uploads. It's another 20 minute video, so same as the other one, and the other one didn't want to upload. So I don't know why, but we'll try it out again. So today's uh, uh, Wednesday night, old time radio, get a nice hot cup of tea, put on uh, a good uh, detective show like, uh, let's see, Boston Blackie, Dragnet, Gangbusters, whatever your favorite old time radio show is. and and sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of the evening. My name's Tom Novick for Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors, and thank you for coming back to round two.